Hi, it's Rachel from Tea and Forget Me Nots. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I found this glass cabinet on Facebook. The women had unsuccessfully tried to sell it and said that it would go to the dump the next day, so I very gladly picked it up from her. I started by doing an all over clean with Dixie Belle's white lightning. The tricky bit was getting it clean in all the ornate details, but it was definitely needed as you can see from the colour of the water at the end of it. Fortunately the piece was in great condition, other than a slight musty smell and some children's drawings on the back. I removed the handles because I thought they were a little bit too heavy looking for my taste and you could see the original colour of the wood underneath where I'd taken them off. I then took my sander to take the shine off of the original stain which would help my new paint grip to the surface better. As this was my first time using black paint I wanted to give it the best chance of lasting well. When painting a dark colour priming isn't always necessary but I did use a coat of Dixie Belle's Boss in clear because of the musty smell. I did one coat all over and the musty smell did disappear afterwards, so it must have just, just trapped the odour within the cabinet, so that worked perfectly. I chose Dixie Belle's Black Sands Silk Mineral Line paint for this cabinet, which is a beautiful charcoal-y colour. I needed two coats all over and then I used an additional coat on the top as well just to give it a bit of extra durability. Here I'm doing the laying off method which is just removing the extra paint that isn't needed from the top so I get the best smooth surface possible. As you're likely to cause a mess if you go over paint that's half drying, I deliberately waited until the shelves were fully dry before painting the sides of the cabinet too. And sadly it was time to say goodbye to those adorable children's pictures. If the piece was for me I might have kept it because it added to its story, but I didn't think a customer would like someone else's drawings on it. It's always a risk when adding paint to furniture because it makes the piece thicker and drawers and doors sometimes don't work as smoothly. In this case one of the doors kept catching. There are two solutions, I could either move the hinge to pull the door up slightly or I could just sand back the bottom of the door, which is what I chose to do. Those extra few millimetres that it took off the bottom of the door means that it shuts smoothly again. While the silk range is an all-in-one paint, so it doesn't need sealing, as this was my first time using black, I chose a sealer that had been recommended, which is hemp seed oil, and I went over the entire piece twice. I loved how simple it was to use, just add a bit to a lint-free cloth and rub it in. Any extra that hadn't sunk in after 24 hours, I just wiped across it again and took it off. It added just a slight sheen and a bit of depth to the black, which I thought was really lovely. For extra wow factor, I added some wallpaper to the back of the piece. I needed four pieces and I had to make sure that they matched both vertically and horizontally. I used wallpaper paste and a brush to attach it. The subtle gold shimmer at the edge of the leaves ties in nicely with the new handles, just gives it an extra bit of sparkle. I chose these handles which were originally used on a white bird cabinet makeover that I did previously. All I did to them was take a bit of sandpaper and buff them slightly so that they got a bit of their shine back. I thought the shape of the flowers matched perfectly with the ornate details on the cabinet. And here's the finished piece which I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks a lot more classier and more interesting than it did before. If you enjoyed this video, please take a look at some of my others in the playlist or head over to teaandforgetmenots.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.